So let's look at self-portraits, and it's rare that an artist hasn't at one time or another attempted a self-portrait of their him or herself. And an artist may do a self-portrait for many different reasons. One might be just to practice their class, craft, another might be to advertise, another might be to explore their inner self. But whatever the reason the artist might think he has or she has for painting their self-portrait, the act of creating always reveals something about the artist. It's always possible to learn a little bit of more about the artist by reading between the brush strokes. So what does this early rock painting from South Africa show us? We see a main figure with arms stretched up. The arms are raised in an apparent ecstasy. What is this showing us about man? And is this a self-portrait? Is this portrait showing a shaman or someone with mystical powers? The Dutch a painter Rembrandt was also a prolific self-portrait painter. If we look, an interesting aspect of Rembrandt's self-portraits, other than their undoubtable quality, is their striking ability to convey exactly what the artist looked like. What do we learn from this? It almost records the progress from uncertain young man through his time as a very successful portrait painter to his later troubled but powerful self-portraits of his old age. He literally painted himself. Another artist is Andrew Warhol. During the 60s, he was New York's art scene and prince of pop art. Side note, I love Andy Warhol. And he was self-styled. He sold himself and who he was. His self-styled enigma, who hid himself away from full glare of the world, always claiming that all anyone needed to know about him and his work was already there. It's not surprising then that we see in this self-portrait he still attempts to camouflage and obscure his reality. Self-portraits can also be self-affirming. In this self-portrait by C.R. Gorman, we can see that he displays traditional and modern styles of today's Navajo. Images that we don't traditionally see in the media. And sometimes with the self-portrait, an artist is able to portray not only themselves, but their culture as they want to be seen, not as the larger culture wants to see them. So in this strong pose, we see a man who is confident and proud to be Native American and embellish the ideas of what Native American is for him today. Our last is Carmen Loma Garza in Razor Blade Do. And in this, we don't have a traditional self-portrait. What we have is, is an autobiographical art. And in it, we can see her on the bed, looking at her sister, who is getting ready, and her other sister, who is helping get her ready. What is the impact of this autobiographical artwork? What does it tell us about the role of women? So, as you take a look at these self-portraits, I want you to think about who you are and what cultural values you hold and believe in.